hello guys hope you are doing well so today we'll see in this video we'll see the Moodle upgrade how you can upgrade your version from lower to the latest one or from lower to higher one so currently you can see here on my instance I have the Moodle 4.3 okay so how you can check that the current version for that you'll have to come under server then under environment you will find your latest sorry not the latest your current model model version so this one is the current one my model 4.3.3 plus and i want to upgrade this instance to model 4.4 and model 4.4 is the latest one as of now okay so before moving ahead model 4.4 has some uh, system requirements like it should uh, the PHP version should be the minimum 8.1 okay and the sodium is required max input where it should be uh, greater than or equals to 5000 so, okay so this one is the first and major steps while upgrading your uh, version that is system requirement check got it so this is something you will have to put on the uh, topmost priority you will have to check first whether your system is meeting your system requirements for the model 4.4 or not now once you are done with checking all this then you will have to take a backup of your all the code database file and the model data okay and then you, you need to have the latest code and that code we will be using with your older database and older model data so let's see uh, first whether my system is uh, that is currently i'm using this one is fulfilling all the system requirements or not okay so to, to check that we'll have to check here the php version okay so i can see my php version is 8 point 8.0 is required but i am running for 8.1.27 and for this 4.4 you will have at least 8.1.0 so that means this requirement is fulfilling whatever the current environment i have the php version requirement it is being fulfilled by my uh, latest yes so this one is okay you can make a checklist of each and every point so this is all fine in my case got it so this is okay now check for the database okay uh, the sodium is the third requirement then max input where it should be greater than or equal to five five thousand yes so these are all four system requirements at least that need to be uh, need that will be required before upgrading to 4.4 otherwise your upgradation will be stuck in between that process so the PSC version is fine in my case now let's see for the database okay so this one quite 5000 plus yes yes so let's see the database version so the database required MariaDB let's see the MariaDB should be 10.6.7 okay so version 10.6.7 was also required for the model 4.3 and this remains uh 4.3 it is not required but i already have on this 4.3 that is this one is required but i have the higher than this i have 10.11.7 okay so the my da database i am using here uh 
DB Engine MariaDB I am using here DB type and this is fulfilling my server requirement whatever here required in 4.4 it is being fulfilled okay so that's okay now now come to check the sodium yes sodium extension is enabled in my case so this also pass and now check for the max input wires here how you can check that so again you will have to come to server then on the PHP info we will have to check here yes it is 5000 so this also is okay in my case got it so here you can see my system my current environment is fulfilling all the requirement that is required for upgrading my model 4.3 version to model 4.4 okay so the first check check you will have to pass this one the server requirement okay so i have passed this now you are ready for the upgrade part so before moving ahead with the model upgrade we'll have to take ideally you should take a backup in case any uh, challenges happen yeah, anything wrong happened with your system then you will have at least the backup so that you can roll back everything okay so here i will be going here on a step by step on the production on the server itself but i would recommend you to please download everything on your local machine and upgrade there then push the code online so this one is the recommended one in my case i am taking the risk because uh, that's because this is just a test in sense i have created okay so hostinger i'll be using you can see here uh, the lms.avlux.co.in so i am going to come inside this then domain so file system i am going to access now access file system okay so why the file system access is required in my case because i will have to uh, update the my code here okay so this one is as uh, i am using this directory here lms.avlogs.in and if i go inside this i can see the config file okay so one point i just miss here not just you will have in database you will also have to take care uh, the sql file that is uh, actually the file of your uh, project uh, sql file and also take a backup of config.php file so that you will have all the configuration detail okay so now i am going to export here a uh, config.php so that i will have uh, the all the configuration details yes you can see it is downloaded now okay now i will have to take a backup okay the this part is okay now i just take a backup of this config.php that is okay what it so let me make here and i will type okay here So that's it. So this one is basically your SQL file. And I am going to use my PHP, uh, whatever the model provided, that is a local adminer plugin through which you can download your database. So I think I already have installed that uh, plugin for on the server local 
admainer let's see yes i can see uh, it is installed now i have this db okay now i can download this database yes so i can verify here my database this yes you can see this is the same database so i have to take the back of this then i will have to click on export here you can see this is export button click on it and i am not going to open this file i am going to save this one uh, please make sure you are selecting this on sql uh, by default it, it will be there but you will have to uh, select that now click on export so it will take some time in exporting your database file into uh, sql file but it is all depend on your file size the project size so in my case it was just 12 uh, mb 12.1 mb because i have done nothing here this is just for the testing purpose so now you can see this one is okay i have taken the backup of this and i have taken the backup of this got it now i can see, i can get the path here of modal data okay so in my case this this is the path of my modal data I can navigate this one here. Come, I will come here on public. This is my path LMS 4.3. So again, I will have to, I can archive this one or I can download this one. Okay. So, but I don't have much data here. So I don't have to worry here. Uh, if I lost anything so ideally it will not be giving any issue in case you still not uh, taking the backup but this one is recommended in case something wrong happen okay so I will will can take the backup of this okay so here I am skipping but uh, I am sure uh, whenever you will be doing you will be making a copying copy of your modal data what it yes now this lms is a directory this one is the complete full directory of my directory of model 4.3 currently it is working here on the site okay so you can also verify now the last thing before uh, doing any modification or changes you can verify you are working on the correct directory or correct project okay so let me try adding here or uh, something some message on top like this site is under maintenance okay so i just uh, enter this message and let's save and if i come here and refresh this message will appear that means i am on the right directory of my model that's it if i make the changes roll back changes and repress it should work now next step is i should have a modal code got it so you can download the modal latest code modal 4.4 okay so you can go to modal site from here you can go to Moodle Moodle home page click on download now here you can see Moodle 4.4 plus click on it uh, the latest build you can see the weekly build is there one day six hour ago this code download the zip one and this will take uh, 83 mb 
around 83 84 mb it will take sorry it is showing 989.3 mb uh, it should not take more than uh, 90 mb of this size on your computer but whenever you unzip this one it is of course going to be high, some higher okay so i will uh, upload here so before uploading i will have to take a backup of this code so i will rename this one okay so once this code downloaded i will rename this to a different name and i will create a new directory here lms and i will put this code inside that okay so let's wait for uh, another minute so that my code will be downloaded till then i have already the downloaded one so here i am going to upload that down package so i am going to upload here sorry it's not a folder it's a file click on this file download then i can browse for this yes here you can see the progress of upload one file upload progress you can see and sorry for my internet speed it is a bit quite slow today so it is just uploading like uh, 0.3 mb per second and the size you can see was 80 90 around 90 mb it is and it is saying around it will take around three to four minute okay so file will be uploaded here so once my file upload done that means i i will be ready with this okay so i have model 4.4 now i know the database connection i have i know the database connection i have inside my uh, exported config.php and database i have taken there i will be using the same database same database i will be using and the same modal data i will be using okay so this is the step in the upgrade we'll have to use the older database and the older modal data both with the new code so this is the major step in the upgrade whenever you upgrade from any lower to higher version in modal so you'll have to use your new latest code or new code the upgraded version you are looking to upgrade up to with your modal data older modal data and older modal database also. so these are all the simple steps this too is going to take time okay so yes i am here again it is saying Uploading is still taking time for me and it will take another two minutes from here. Okay, so before all that, I can go and check here. So inside this, there is another directory here, uh, Moodle. Okay, so that means I can, I can use the extract here. I will be extracting here and that file will come inside a uh, modal directory as you just saw here so inside this package there is a modal directory and then I will have to rename that this older one to uh, any backup name and I will rename that particular modal that I will be uploading this and extracting to LMS 
okay so here again it is showing uh, one minute around one minute it will take it may it may take some more minute but yeah it will should not take more than a five from here in uploading just uploading not the complete process the complete process from here now should take around 15 to 20 minutes to upgrade now you will have some question like what happened in case it interrupt interrupted my upgrade in between the process so for that reason i have taken the backup of uh, my uh, model data and the model database also so that too will be over playing the key role whenever you will have to restore your uh, model back to your the previous one that was currently working so this is the one way and there is another way you can take a backup at server level like Okay, you can take an image of today or just uh, one hour before you start and in case something wrong happen you can roll back everything okay so now i can see here this is uploaded uploaded i now i can see this model data uh, latest 4.4 it updated now sorry uploaded here i can extract here okay so override because i am sure there is no moodle directory here that's why i am picking this folder name nothing so just press dot yes now you can see i can see here a new directory in moodle this one this new model directory a few second ago it is uploaded and this one is the code now remember your the steps will have to make a backup so i am going to rename this as a backup yes and i have to make it like lms because this was the direct this is the directory current name that was being used with the uh, that particular code okay so if you go to your site it will be asking to installation the new installation it will be asking so something like this will appear here now i can upload here i will go inside this lms this one is the new code you, you can see here verify here last modified a minute ago i have to upload here that config file yes this config file okay so once you are done with uploading config file that means it contains every setting that was in earlier installation okay so if you come here on your site and refresh so it will not be asking for the installation yes now it is asking for the upgrade it is not asking me for the installation okay so what it say upgrading Moodle database from Moodle 4.3.3 plus build date you can see here to 4.4 plus build date this okay so confirm your Moodle data file has been changed and you are about to automatically upgrade your server to this version once you do this you cannot go back again yes please be, be remember in case something wrong happen and you have to go back to your previous so your all database will be changed to according to the new ones so this backup one will be useful in case you have to go back okay so this data you will have backup the config file will have and the model data backup will have so all the backup will be working 
because once you move ahead with this version and go to higher you cannot roll back to the older one so that's the rule are you sure you want to continue to upgrade this server please read every uh, thing line by line and you will get some idea click on continue here now so i have already matched everything this system requirement now you can see everything will be coming okay okay so it is asking for a current asynchronous backup disable but yes this is just a normal check it will not be st stopping me to upgrade yes click on continue your server meet all requirements so if you click on continue it will be giving you uh, this okay and it it will also giving me what is missing so ideally you should take a backup of this okay so i am going to take a backup of this okay so i am going to create a new folder here moodle upgrade 4.4 so inside this i am going to save this as a doc okay so if you come here under the that newly created directory inside this moodle upgrade 4.4 if i can open in a web browser i can see everything the status what was a status before the installation okay so here missing from the disk you can search for it is for the 34 stops is saying me that missing from the disk okay so here i can see everything every status and these all these are going to to be upgraded that means these are going to upgrade okay so let it be and i have taken the backup of this file you can see this one so that i can check the status what all i will have to install like i will have to install this local plugin adminer i will have to install analytics i will have to install mail i will have to install uh, welcome these are the local plugin i will have to install again i will have to install boost union theme then move so move is not required i am not going to use anymore so in case something is not required you can just simply ignore that but yes boost union i will be using okay so go to boost union theme here okay so also you can download from here so if you click on this version you can also find the 4.3 16 may yeah this one is upgraded 16 may so if you download this one it will be giving you the upgrade, upgraded one that will be supported in Moodle 4.4. Okay, so let me click on download. I also have to use this one. It's a just a uh, matter of uh, second because it is just in KB, 761 KB. It is not going to take much of your time and download. Yes, so I have already downloaded that one. Okay, so click on upgrade Moodle database now. So this is the step from here you will be start seeing the message success success these are upgraded here on the page i think it will take around three to four minutes not more than that it should take yes you can see here it it's my server is too fast it just a matter of it was just a matter of seconds now i can click on this continue yes i can log in yeah it is all set up now so just keep default one no i'm not going to use sms mobile phone anything like as of now yes you are done with your model upgrade so if you come here under site administration you can go to server you can go to environment and now you can see your latest model version 
so it is all done so for me it, it just took, took me the five minutes to upgrade from Moodle 4.3 to 4.4 so re remaining time took uh, around keeping the backup and keeping the backup of uh, the what missing if in my case checking on the requirement part so it will take time so I had the very limited data that's why it, it was just a matter of minute but in case there will be a huge data it will take in minutes like 20 minutes 30 minutes it will take to upgrade and even your backup will take some more time so now I have to use this boost union so under plugin I will go here and I am going to install this boost union click on continue 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 yes again here you can take the backup of this by saying let's say 2 and I will be installing everything that is missing and that is required okay so I can install this so click on upgrade model database now click on continue save changes okay so if I if I come here after installing that and I can see the previous version of my theme and look and feel that was appearing before upgrade on login also I can see this face so before uh, adding this boost union because I was using this boost union so before that I was getting here very simple login page now I can see the the one that was in my case got it so this is the steps now I am going to open this and install step by step everything attendance activity I have to install okay so attendance plugin model I am going to install this so under plugins come to install and download this one the latest one version Just click on this version and it is the of it is the release of just uh, April 18 23 so no newer release here but yes i have to install here so i am going to install this browse install plugin this continue now you can see that uh, particular issue will be gone from here attendance is no more appearing here on the missing from this list same way I am going to install this offline queues plugin model okay so now I can see this under versions I can download the latest one same way I will have to install plug meet sky note medium live so these are not in my use as of now so i'll be sp skipping this for okay so yes it is downloaded now so just upgrade model database now continue Got it so now click on plugins install plugins this no it is not downloaded yet it will take some time
yes now it is downloaded so just drag and drop here under your this browse area click on install plugin click on continue continue again upgrade Moodle database continue okay so I just install the required one so proctoring I can install and block I can install read a speaker so this one is not a required one so yes mlang2 is required in my case so I am going to install this mlang2 under plugins install download just drag and drop here and install install plugins continue okay so this one will be install continue then auto enrollment I can install click on continue okay so auto enrollment model login if you go to this I can click on this and I can download and install so go to plugin versions and download install plugins just drag and drop here click on install plugin continue continue again this upgrade model database continue yes now this one is also installed now I can download and install local add minor plugin so that I can download database like I downloaded this database okay so database the one that was in this for model 4.3 so go to version and click on this the latest one download under plugins install plugins just drag and drop here Con install plugins continue continue again yes now you can see the reduced list of uh, the missing from this so this one is not required in my case proctoring as of now this one is not required block I will not be going to use okay so I can see this one is going to be upgraded this time so analytics mail and welcome I don't see the usage of now so so whenever you see this one is not in use you can just skip that one okay so upgrade model database now continue this now I am done with my model in upgradation from model 4.3 to model 4.0 Pro. so this is how you can upgrade your Moodle database sorry Moodle instance from your older version to newer version okay so can I directly jump from Moodle 3.10 to Moodle 4.4 no of course not so there is a Moodle standard and under for which you want to upgrade up to you can search here under release and you can see the minimum version required 
for upgrading to 4.4 is this model 4.1.2 or lighter so in my case it was model 4.3.3 okay so this one is the model minimum version required for this okay so that's it from this video please